हरिओम श्रीराम अंबज्ञा नाथ संपीठ माय सेल्फ लीना वीरा दड़वी आई एम ओरिजिनली फ्रॉम मुंबई बॉर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन मुंबई कंप्लीटेड माय एजुकेशन देयर एंड देन इट्स ऑलमोस्ट बीन सेवन इयर्स वी आर इन पुणे फॉर माय हस्बैंड्स जॉब सो नाउ सो इन मुंबई आई वाज अलाइंड विथ विले पार्ले उपासना सेंटर while in pune i am aligned with aund upasna center i am going to share few uh, so bapu has been a vital part of life in fact everyone in my family our life revolves around bapu all the time right since start i don't remember exactly since when but somewhere in 1996 or 1998 when i was a school going kid somewhere in 5th or 6th standard maybe my father got me to uh, bapu when uh, bapu used to uh, um, speak on vishnu sahasra naam at dadar and since then my father has told me only one thing that the, he is the ultimate one for us and i have always believed in that it believed in that and i'm so thankful i'm ambadnya that this has come to me right since my age when i did not know to analyze things ambadnya so i'm going to share one small experience that has given a uh, strong belief system in me uh, regarding bapu a very strong trust that has been built uh, that my bapu does everything out of the way for me you know when i was in college so it's been more than 15 years now yeah when i was in college uh, i had taken entire uh, applied psychology for my tyba in ruparel college and uh, that the seat uh, we used to have very less seats like some 24 seats and we used to have number of students applying for entire psychology being that a very interesting subject in arts and uh, in those 24 seats on my merit i had got my mm-hmm. one of the seat obviously with bapu's grace uh the year started and one unfortunate thing that actually happened is my grandpa who was 79 years old then got uh, detected with second last or last stage of cancer and everyone in the family was working all were in government jobs or private jobs and taking out uh, you know so financially things were good but i was the only one who could give time as such for all his treatment where we had to take him to hospital his surgeries his all the phases you know his chemotherapy and everything and i uh, somehow bapu got that managed you know in case with us uh, me and my grandpa had a very good bond and uh, the treatment and everything started he was not in a very good shape when it was my final exam also because of all that divert minded uh, divert diverse mind even i was not in a very good shape during my final exams because i just could not get time to study properly and i was like some 40 50 60% uh, prepared for the exam and but bapu never taught to you know uh, take a step back so you have to keep walking whatever happens so i had decided i'll give that exam and before the exam we used to have this practicals and it was a day of practicals it was a thursday in the department of psychology in college uh i believe i had got very uh, difficult experiment which uh, everyone in the uh, class always used to say you know this experiment should not come to anyone and i had got that and um, i i was still trying my best to give my performance on that and then i was called for vivas which was in between my experiment i was called for vivas and uh, professor asked me few questions and i answered few i don't know if i was up to the mark or not i don't even remember now but i remember that the professor told me that you know you should not give this exam and i felt uh 
let me try you know uh, not giving it just like that won't be a nice thing that's not taught so i should at least give it a try um so going ahead i gave that exam and uh, during the experiments when the professor actually came and stood besides me and told me that i'll ensure you don't clear this vivas and this practicals so why don't you just quit you know and i actually felt really little odd but i thought shri ram let bapu decide i gave that exam after i was out from that exam and i was in the campus walking out towards uh, station matunga station i saw the same professor going uh, in a car with few of my other friends and they were laughing at me they were smiling at me which i found little strange but i had decided not to think anything else because there were not many things happening i had my grandpa on my uh, you know on on focus of my mind my studies my exams too many things at home so i decided i'll just uh, leave this topic and i just went home but i was little upset with the whole thing that happened in the evening when my father came home i told him uh, that you know i am thinking i i'll just drop out i won't give this exam this year rather i give it next year and he simply told me one thing let's go to pravachan it's thursday today and he took me to pravachan we had a direct bus from andheri station to bandra 312 i suppose yes and we uh, had been to pravachan so we were sitting in outside area where just outside the school where we put where the screen is big screen is put normally so we were sitting there and uh, the whole pravachan happened bapu bapu was explaining ram raksha then and we heard the whole thing and then we decided we'll take darshan from here only Uh, from the screen and we'll leave because it was uh, those were exam days also and papa couldn't uh, sit for longer because of his uh, he had uh, uh, his, his legs were paining so he could not sit for longer so we decided we'll move out from there so uh, we were just sat standing and looking at the screen and bapu was uh, smiling at everyone and all and all of a sudden bapu just looked at me and he said something i heard him saying don't worry i am there with you and i felt i heard what he said though from screen you cannot hear generally and uh, i was just looking at screen and all and on my right uh, there was vandana aunty who simply uh, turned to me and she asked me whether lina did you hear what papu said did he say something to you and i was like oh my god even she heard so i re looked at the screen and bapu said it again don't worry i've told you i'm there that give me immense trust my dada's words is everything for me i just decided to go ahead and give the exam let's see whatever happens i gave the complete exam things went very well you know so the exams were not too great for me because i was not completely prepared but i was i knew one thing that if dada has told this nothing doing you just have to go on so i just gave that exam and uh, i passed not with great marks but i did pass though i knew i wanted to do psychology ahead that's one of the interesting subject in arts uh, i was also preparing for cat i wanted to do mba in hr and now what i do as a career is i am a od consultant organization development and human resources consultant with organization so psychology was maybe you know one route towards it though it was not a great step but without that i wouldn't have been what i am today is what i understand and bapu knew it the best so um i got admission for masters in psychology in university i also got admission for industrial psychology which was online with human resources and then i did my iim and also it just happened happened you know that also after my marriage i did so it just happened happened bapu made made that happen and uh, so that was one instance that gave me immense trust of how dada does everything 
when we just decide we want to do something and when we just lose our hope the hope comes from him in clear words when he says i'm there he's there not to worry just go on ambadnya dada ambadnya hari om shri ram ambadnya nath sampit